Hey guys, so quick update. I recently made a video telling you I was going to go ahead and do some distro hopping on some physical hardware. I was going to change distros on my main production machine, my desktop. I was also going to change distros on my laptop. I just uh, showed you a little footage of uh, my laptop, or I, I'll roll in some footage of my laptop. It is a Toshiba satellite, a uh, very cheap laptop. I think I paid $350 for it about three years ago, maybe four years ago. It's been a little while. It has an AMD processor, AMD A8, with uh, integrated AMD graphics. Uh, not outstanding hardware, but again, it was a $350 laptop, you know, about three or four years ago. But I've had no problems uh, installing a, a number of Linux distros on it. Uh, it's really been an okay laptop, you know, for kind of a budget laptop. Uh, I went ahead and wiped out Ubuntu LTS. <clears throat> I had the 1604 LTS on this laptop, and there was nothing wrong with it. Uh, I was running the Unity desktop on it, mainline Ubuntu, and it, it ran fine. I had no issues with that. Uh, Unity, actually, I really liked Unity on the laptop. I don't like it on my uh, triple monitor desktop. You know, I have three 24-inch monitors, and Unity's okay on it, but on a small screen, on a small laptop, uh, Unity works great. And you know what? I feel uh, the same way about Budgie, too. I really like the Budgie desktop, but on my triple monitor desktop, you know, it's not the greatest. On a laptop, though, I think I'm going to love Budgie. So I've, uh, I've only had Budgie installed here for a few hours. The first thing I had to do after running through the Solus installation was I had to update the system. Let me see how many updates there were. So when I updated the system, it was something like uh, 424 packages that had to be updated. And that took a long time. That was, that was a pretty big update. And when I rebooted the machine after running that update, you run that update, by the way, in Solus with the commands sudo eopkg, eopkg is the package manager, uh, up for update, sudo eopkg up. I did that very long update of 400 and something packages, and I rebooted the laptop, and the grub screen and all was fine, but when it tried to load into the budgie desktop environment, I got a black screen and then I was immediately booted back into the login manager, the LightDM login manager. So something broke during that update. So I actually had to drop down into a TTY terminal, you know, at your bash shell. And I actually ran another update and there were another 17 or 18 packages that needed to be updated. I'm not sure why they weren't updated as part of the 424 packages that I initially updated, but I ran that update, rebooted the machine, and logged in to the Budgie desktop environment, and it just worked. So I'm not sure what the problem was initially, but 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 an update fixed it. So uh, no major breakage there. It was pretty simple to get up and running. Now, I wanted to make a video on this laptop to see how things work. So I plugged in my Blue Yeti microphone. Uh, to set the Blue Yeti microphone as my default microphone instead of the cheap little microphone that's built into the laptop, I wanted to use Pulse Audio Volume Control. Pulse Audio Volume Control was not installed by default on Solus, so I had to run sudo eopkg install pavu control for Pulse Audio Volume Control. I also installed, of course, Simple Screen Recorder, Simple screen recorder, all one word, and GUVC View. GUVC View, of course, is my webcam app. This is the window that you see me speaking in here. This is GUVC View. This is my webcam. And this is not the laptop webcam. This is my actual Logitech uh, whatever webcam. Uh, it's a better webcam than the built-in webcam on the Toshiba laptop. The uh, webcam, webcam that's built into the laptop is pretty bad. So I installed those three packages that I use uh, pretty much to make all my videos. Uh, Simple Screen Recorder, GUVC View, and the Pulse Audio Volume Control. And I'm, I'm recording a video here. Uh, I I'm, could install Caden Live and go ahead and try to uh, 
edit the video, render the video here inside my laptop. But my laptop, like I said, it's not a powerful machine. It's AMD A8 is the processor. So what I'll probably do, I'll, I'll do the recording on this, but then I'm going to transfer the files over to my desktop, the main production machine, and I'll render the video on it. So I'm not going to bother installing Kden Live on the laptop. And pulling down, you know, some KDE dependencies on here. And that's another thing with Kden Live. It does have a few dependencies, not not a ton, but it brings in a few. All in all, though, uh, spending a few hours in Solus, uh, I, I'm really impressed uh, how it's working out of the box so far. And I'm not much of a tweaker, like the budgie desktop, how it's set up by default. You know, I'm probably not even going to change the wallpapers or anything, you know, or the theme. You know, I'm not that kind of guy. I'm not going to change the icon set. I'm just going to go with what they gave me because, to be honest, it looks pretty sharp out of the box. I'm going to install a handful of packages that are not installed by default that I need, you know, to do a little bit of work. But other than that, out of the box, uh, I, I think Solus is going to be great on this laptop. So I uh, just wanted to update you guys on that. I'm still taking suggestions, though, for what I should put on my main production machine for my desktop. And I have gotten hundreds of comments already about what I should install for my next distro to live in on my main production machine. Uh, some of the more popular suggestions, I have got a ton of people telling me to do MX. I've had a ton of people to tell me, tell me to try Antics on my main machine. Uh, being a Debian guy, either of those I would be comfortable with. Uh, I've had a lot of people tell me go with Arco Linux. You guys know I made a recent video about Arco Linux and I really loved it. Uh, I've had a few people give me some suggestions that I initially never considered. I've had a few people suggest Void, Void Linux. Void Linux is an independent Linux distro, but they do some, some really cool stuff. I mean, Solus is also an independent distro. And I've got Solus running on the laptop. Maybe I should do Void on the desktop. I, I don't hate that idea. Uh, some of the other popular distros, people have suggested me uh, a variety of the upcoming Ubuntu 1804 flavors. I, I wouldn't mind doing any of those. Um, Calculate Linux. I mentioned I might do Calculate Linux, and several of you said, yeah, go with go with Calculate. We, we'd love to see you do more with that. That could be interesting, too. But I'm really not sure. I'm going to, you know, let you guys comment for a couple of weeks, you know, and I'm going to take some time to... Uh, make a decision on that. I don't want to rush into something on my main production machine. So, uh, because I mean, it's what I use to produce this YouTube channel. So, you know, I want to make sure it's, it's a good fit for me. Anyway, take care guys. Peace.